Hello guys, welcome back to PC1 Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily PC1 Engineering videos. Today our lecture is about the solve mechanics. In this lecture, we are going to solve one numerical problem to find out some unknown parameter for the given solve sample. So the problem states that an, an undisturbed sample of clay soil is found to have wet weight of 270 newton, a dry weight of 240 newton, and a total volume of 13 multiply with 10 raised to power 3 cent cubic centimeter. So this is the total volume of the soil sample. If the specific gravity of soil is found to be 2.68, then determine the water content, the void ratio and the degree of saturation for this clay. So we know that the given data for this problem is the wet weight, the wet weight of the soil is 270 newton the dry weight of the soil is 240 newton this would be the dry weight is 240 newton and the total volume of the soil of the clayly soil is 13 and to 10 to the power 3 cubic centimeter so this is the total volume of the soil sample and also it is given that the specific gravity for the soil is 2.68 so first we have to find out the water content now water content is very easy to determine we just have to water content is represented by small w and it is always expressed in percentage in this case we know the weight weight and the dry weight of the soil sample so we can find out the what the moisture content or the water content of the soil simply by this formula that it is equal to the wet weight minus dry weight dividing by the dry weight multiply with the hundred percent because it is always expressed in percentage so we know that the wet weight for the soil sample is 270 minus dry is 240 and dividing by dry weight which is 240 multiplying it with the hundred percent so we get the water content or the moisture content for this soil sample is 12.5 percent so this is the water content for this soil sample now to find out the void ratio we can use this formula to find out the void ratio that gamma d is equal to the specific gravity into gamma w unit weight of water into 1 plus e so we can find out the void ratio by this formula hence we know that the specific gravity gs of the soil sample the unit weight of the water is known to us unit weight of the water is standard value and it is 9.81 kilonewton per cubic meter this is the standard value of the unit weight of the water but in this formula we don't know gamma d which is the dry unit weight of the soil sample so first we have to find out gamma d and then we can use this equation in order to find out the void ratio or the e so first we have to find out the dry unit weight for this soil sample to find out the dry unit weight we know that the equal to the wd the dry weight of the soil sample divided by the total volume because gamma is equal to the weight over volume the gamma formula is equal to the w divided by the volume weight per unit volume so in this case we are going to find out the dry unit weight so it is dry weight divided by the total volume so we know that the dry weight is 240 and volume of the total volume of the soil is also given which is 13 into 10 to the power 3 cubic centimeter so we just put the value here now the weight of dry is 240 divided by the 13 into 10 to the power 3 cubic centimeter now we want to convert this newton into kilonewton so we have to multiply it with the 10 to the power minus 3 in order to convert into kilonewton and also this unit is in the centimeter and we want to find its dry unit weight in the unit of meter so we have to convert into cubic meter so we have to multiply it with the 10 to the power minus 6 
So now it is in the unit of kilonewton per cubic meter. So now to multiplying and dividing this value we got gamma dry is equal to 18.46 kilonewton per cubic meter. So after finding out the dry unit weight we can simply put this dry unit weight here specific gravity in the gamma w we will find the 1 plus e or we can find out the e y ratio here. So by using this equation gamma d is equal to g s into gamma w into 1 plus e simply shift this value here by rearranging so we got this equation now putting the value of these parameters so 1 plus e is equal to g s g s is 2.68 Multiply with the gamma w, it is 9.81. Dividing by gamma d, which we found out is 18.46 kilonewton per cubic meter. So by solving this, we got by solving this, we got 1.42. So e will become 1.42 minus 1. We shift this minus 1, so it comes out to be 0 0.42. So this is the wide ratio for this style sample. Now the third question or the third unknown is the degree of saturation for the soil sample to find out the degree of saturation so this is the s it is represented by s and it is unknown so to find out the degree of saturation we can simply use this equation s multiplied with the wide ratio into gs into water content S is unknown to us which is degree of saturation, wide ratio is known to us which is 0.42, specific gravity is known to us which is 2.68 and water content is also known to us which is 12.5% in this soil sample. So we, sh we can simply rearrange this equation in order to find the S or the degree of saturation. So GS is 2.68, multiplying with W it is 12.5%, which we should convert into decimal so it is 0.12. 5 dividing by e which is 0.42 so by multiplying and dividing we and it should be multiplied with the hundred percent always because degree of saturation is always expressed in percentage like the water content so we got 76.5 percent so this is the degree of saturation for this soil sample hope you guys understand how to find out the unknown parameter in the soil sample by knowing some given data so you should use the exact formula in order to find out the unknown parameter but keep in mind that if you have two unknowns like we have in this case we have two unknowns then you should find first unknown in order to find out the another unknown hope you guys understand and don't forget to subscribe our channel for daily seven engineering videos thank you for watching our video